Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Mass Effect. This is going to be a uh, uh, same thing that uh, everyone on stream has already seen because I hit the wrong button and didn't actually record this. But it was only about ten minutes, so. Transmission coming in, Commander. I think you're going to want to hear this one. Greetings, Commander Shepard. I represent a party interested in obtaining information on Cerberus activities. All right, let's find out what his name is. Who are you, and who do you represent? Who I am is inconsequential. Suffice to say, I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. You see, Admiral Kohoku contacted my employer looking for information on the location of any Cerberus facilities. We provided that information on the promise that he would turn over copies of all files gathered from the Cerberus systems to us. Did you have anything to do with Admiral Kohoku ending up dead? We had no reason to harm him. He was going to provide us with information about Cerberus. Information that is now in your possession. You must have some connection to Cerberus. How else could you tell Kahoku where to find them? Information is our business, Commander. Through our contacts, we were able to determine that the Cerberus group was active in the Voyager cluster. Unfortunately, that was all we were able to find out. That is why we are so interested in acquiring copies of the files from you. Alright, so I already uh, talked a bit about this uh, uh, with the stream viewers, but... Uh, I, I still do not see why giving this information to uh, the Shadow Broker would be treason. Um, it's stuff we picked up from a rogue operation. It's not like it's necessarily classified. Your so, deal died with Kohoku. I'm going to get some information for this. The Alliance is just going to file this information away in some archive. No secret stays hidden forever. Eventually, someone somewhere will deliver it into our hands. Might as well be you. <laughs> Transmit the files to us, and you will be well compensated. What are you going to do with this information? Information is a commodity. It can be bought, sold, or traded. Why my employer desires this information is not my concern. I am only the buyer. I'll transmit the files. I knew you were a reasonable woman, Commander. My employer will remember this the next time you need something from us. So we'll just get some money from them. It was, uh, 99000 <laughs> this is Bioware. All logic is heresy. Alright. And uh, we decided to go to Hawking. Eta. Eta. Whatever. And let's go to Sentry. Pat5556 says, uh, Oh, how convenient! Right as I tune in, all realizes that he forgot to start the recording and starts over. I'm way too good at this timing thing. <laughs> Message coming in, Commander. Big surprise, the Alliance needs you again. On the upside, we got to listen to that again. <laughs> this is Admiral Hackett with Alliance Command. We've got a mission for you. An Alliance officer named Major Kyle has set up a small compound in the Hawking Etta cluster. He's attracted a number of followers, mostly biotics. He's become an outspoken critic of the Alliance, and we believe he's mentally unstable. This could be trouble, Shepard. Eh, maybe you're overreacting. What kind of proof do you have that the Major is dangerous? Three days ago, we sent two Alliance representatives to meet with him at his compound. They've disappeared. We believe Kyle and his followers killed them. That compound is a cult, Shepard. They call him Father Kyle now. He set himself up as some kind of religious leader. Hmm, sounds fun. You said his followers were biotics? Yes. Major Kyle never showed any biotic tendencies himself, though. I think he's just latched onto a group he identifies with. Many biotics feel marginalized or ostracized by society. Kyle probably sees them as victims who need his protection, and they see him as someone who will fight for them. Unfortunately, he's convinced them that the Alliance is somehow responsible for all their problems. We can't let him go on like this. I'm going to point it out because I can't stop staring at it. The, there's that space between the comma and he in that. I, uh, the, the space before the comma. It, that, that, that just really bugs me. <sighs> Alright, tell me about the missing what alliance officers. What are those officers. alliance representatives going to talk to Major Kyle about? They wanted to bring him back to an alliance facility for treatment. Major Kyle served us faithfully for many years. We weren't going to abandon him. Given his state of mind, however, he probably saw them as a threat. We're almost certain he had his followers kill them. Only almost certain, huh? What else can you tell me about Major Kyle? He used to be a model soldier. But something happened to him at Torfin. I'm gonna just assume that he's a 1-100 scale model soldier. 
couldn't cope with the guilt. His psych evaluations showed he couldn't handle the stress of command anymore. He was given an honorable discharge in early retirement. We'd hoped he would get better in time, but we underestimated how far gone he was. Now it looks like it's too late. Well, maybe I can reason with him. I might be able to end this without violence. You serve with him. He might listen to you. But he's already killed two Alliance representatives. I trust you to use your judgment. No, you, you said you were all, only you almost certain that, that he'd done that. Well, I gotta read these again. Tamahara has a thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and xenon. The surface is icy and composed of sodium oxide with deposits of calcium. Mmm, calcium. Just for when uh, you got those upset stomachs. It contains a few unremarkable metals, but mainly consists of rock. The presence of canyons and floodplains indicates that liquid water once existed, suggesting Tamahara had a thicker atmosphere, thicker insulating atmosphere in the past. Next up, we've got Theropto. Theropto is a typical hydrogen-helium gas giant with traces of chlorine and sulfur in its atmosphere. It has over 100 moons and an extensive ring system composed of pulverized rock, presumably the debris from shattered moons. Let's survey it, and we get a medallion. While scanning the planet Theropto, you discovered a tiny moon with some odd readings. Further scans by Chief Engineer Adams revealed a destroyed escape pod. Your salvage team recovered the components and found a League of One medallion. And let's see, we've got uh, something here in the asteroid belt. A metal-rich asteroid. Heavy metal surveyed. While scanning this asteroid field in the Hawking Eta Cluster, you de detected a large deposit of Palladium books. Kanktra. A terrestrial world of average size, Kanktra's atmosphere is composed of nitrogen and argon. Its frozen surface is mainly composed of tin with de deposits of calcium. Aside from some spectacular formations of water ice at the poles, the planet has little to recommend it. And we get a light metal surveyed. While scanning this planet, you have detected a significant deposit of cobalt. Clendagon, as uh, people said, sounds like a uh, 90s sci-fi fantasy villain. Clendagon is an arid terrestrial, slightly larger than Earth, but with a lower density that reflects its relative lack of heavier elements. The crust is composed of tin and aluminum, and with wide deserts of dust, fine sand that are easily stirred by the wind. Clendagon's most striking feature is, of course, the Great Rift Valley that stri stretches across the southern hemisphere. What is most fascinating about the rift is that it does not appear to be natural. The geological record suggests that it is the result of a glancing blow by a mass accelerator round of unimaginable destructive power. This occurred some 37 million years ago. How big must that round have been? I mean, I suppose it might have just been going really fast, but I don't know. Because you can see the, uh, the rift valley right there. Presrop is the moon of Clendagon. It is a frigid, barren world with an extremely thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and ethane. The crust contains plentiful deposits of heavy metals. The Alliance has opened bidding for the moon's mineral rights, but exploitation will be complicated by the system's proximity to the five kiloparsec ring around the galactic core. The ring is an area of intense star formation and too dangerous to safely travel. Makes one wonder why we're out here. Pressrop's landscape is a nightmare of jagged overlapping ridges and geological shock zones created by some ancient disaster. Possibly the same thing that created that? This has not deterred a generation of illegal wildcat miners from attempting to exploit the moon's mineral riches. Unfortunately, many have lost their lives. Well, let's go land. Why not? Also, remember everyone, we may not be the only ship that has been here, but we're the only ones to have ever thought of uh, to have surveyed everything. Yeah, pretty much. Alright, so we're going to be dealing with biotics, so let's take Kaiden and Rex. Whee! Ah, you can tell that background is just a map painting. Alright, now I did already discover that there was something like right there. So let's go 
take a look, see if we can get over there. Maybe we can find an easier way up this time. Clendagon sounds like an N-sided shape that your high school geometry teacher mentioned once to sound cool, but is never relevant to anything practical. That is an impressive rift valley up there. Discovery! This cluster of prefab utility shacks have a distinctly ramshackle look to them. A set of rover tracks lead away over the mountain ridge to the southwest. Got it. Alright, well let's see what we have inside. Is this all random? Well, of course we know that that's random. This is all random. Uh, Gladiator 8 human armor. Uh, sniper Rifle, Punisher 8, and Katana 8 sni uh, Shotgun. Yeah, I think there was a um, Rosenkopf Materials uh, Assault Rifle in there last time. Really like those Rosenkopf Material uh, things. Inferno Rounds and a Shield Interface. Fusion Explosive and Incendiary Explosive. I wonder if I can park in there. I can! <laughs> Neat! Alright, so, uh, southwest, that could be that. Well, I guess this might be the easiest way over. Oh, how you, how you doing in there, Kaiden? It's been a while since you've uh, you've joined us on one of these uh, trips. How you feeling? <laughs> oh, I love the Mako so much. Oh, there are two anomalies here. Ancient debris. Let's go ahead and recover this. Turian insignia recovered. Digging under the beacon revealed a small, uh, a piece of scrap metal, likely from a very old freighter. It was marked on one side with the Makadin outpost insignia. Okay, so wrecked mining vehicle. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess that, uh, these people were not as good drivers as me. <laughs> Rip right front wheel number 6038. Discovery. The front of this rover is crumpled in from impact. See, look, I, they should have had a Mako. Everyone knows the Mako could never crumple like that. A glance inside tells you the occupants, probably a team of illegal wildcat miners, are dead. Debris is still sliding down the furrows left by its tires, silent in the near-vacuum atmosphere. So, so I don't, like, get anything from... <sighs> well, I'm glad that you could never do that, Mako. Alright, let's go find that debris... Hello, Lysane. Welcome back to the stream. See? Should have had a Mako. Look, see? No crumpling. The 
The Mako is too awesome to crumple. Got a crashed probe here. Begin manual bypass. Damn it. Ah, crap. Yep. Oh. Alright, let's just uh, bypass with Omnigel. Kinetic exoskeleton and snowblind rounds. Go ahead and take all that. And get back into our Mako. Alright. So, let's head down to the biotic compound. Actually, a surprising amount of uh, flat surface around here, on top of these uh, ridges. See, look, no crumpling whatsoever. Awesome Mako is awesome. Well, it doesn't look like there's anyone uh, outside shooting at us, so I guess there's that. Well, I guess to be fair, that's not a Mako. There's some uh, minerals right up there, it looks like. Let's go grab those. Ooh, a gold deposit. No wonder they're right here. Ah, oh, come on. Heavy metal surveyed. You have successfully surveyed a large deposit of gold. Apparently there was gold in them thar hills. Got it. Alright, well, let's go in and say hi. Careful not to accidentally drive over some ash ghouls. It's probably a reference to a this game that a I have not played. Sanctuary. Outsiders are not welcome here. You can't keep me out. Uh, I'm here to see Major Kyle. I need to talk to the man in charge. It's important. Is that Kaiden's helmet? Kyle wants nothing more to do with the Alliance. Uh, but I'm here to help. I'm the Avatar, after all. I want this to end peacefully. If he doesn't see me, people could get hurt. We won't let you take Father Kyle away. He protects us. We need him. No, 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 look, but see, sir, I have blue dialogue power. It works even over uh, uh, short-range radios. The Alliance wants someone to pay for those murders. Let me speak to Major Kyle, and maybe I can find some way to help you all get out of this alive. We still don't even know that they were actually murdered. Father Kyle will speak with you. Head to the building at the far end of the compound. He'll meet you there. I don't go to, I don't get to go in this one? Oh. Well, I guess I do get to go in this one. Well, let's go ahead and unlock this one. Uh, Hurricane 8. Ooh, there we go. Kovalyov 8, Rosenkov materials, and light human armor. Let's take all that. Actually, you know what? Uh, ooh, that is going to be better. Oh, yeah. There you go, Rex. Kaiden, uh, Survivor 8 is pretty crap. Me? What about, uh, Gladiator 8? That is pretty crap. Hello, I'm just here to uh, loot your stuff. Hello. We can't trust the Alliance. Yeah, you can trust me. I'm the Avatar. The Alliance wants to wipe us out. Father Kyle told us. Well, he's lying to you. I I'm I'm just here to uh, tax your stuff. 
Don't worry. Oh, that was already open. My bad. Technician kit, Savant 9 Omni Tool. Kinetic Exoskeleton 8. Is that a good Omni Tool? That appears to be a good Omni Tool. I like it. Um, uh, I'll save it for, uh... Combat Optics 8. I'll save it for Tali. Nothing else in here, it looks like. Hi, guys! Just, uh, just here to, uh, steal your Omni Tools, that's all. Don't worry. I mean, you're Biotics, you're not using the Omni Tools, right? These people just wandering around with guns in their hands, not, like, holstered or anything. Just in their hands. Nope, that's nothing I can open. <laughs> Raver Rex's best Rex. Not that I needed that. Medical kit. More Metagel. I, I guess they assumed that I'd fight through here and uh, need to use Metagel. Good thing the cultists don't mind you stealing all their crap. I know! It's great! Thanks, guys! I appreciate your contribution to the Avatar's quest. Look, we can zoom in! That's... that's the running. Hello! Hi, how's it going? I'm, uh, I'm just here to, uh, tax you guys. Don't worry. Oh, you got nothing to tax in this room. Very disappointing. You have anything to tax in here? I love just pushing Rex out of the way. There's a power junction I could blow up. Ooh. No sense standing around. You weren't standing around. I, I was trying to get the meta gel that I don't actually need. Aha! Storage locker. There we go. Edge 8, Raptor 8, and Reaper 8. I don't think any of that's really good. Nobody cares about us, Biotics. We have to look out for each other. Well, I think you're just over... Uh, you're just exaggerating a little bit. I'm sure plenty of people care about you, Biotics. Aha! A crate! Uh, ooh, another medium armor. Let's see... Well, actually, it's not going to be better for me, but... Might be better for someone else when I uh, get the hell out of here. We've circled around. Let's cut through the middle. Just here to see if you have anything to uh, steal, and then I'll, I'll talk to uh, Mr. Kyle person, whatever his name is. The Alliance wants to wipe us out. Father Kyle told us. I'm pretty sure that Father Kyle lies to you. We just want to steal your stuff. Inferno rounds, fusion explosive. Now that said, I might wipe you out if you don't have a whole lot for me. Cryo explosive, shield interface. Do 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 do. 
Hello. I am Major Kyle. I know why you've come. We have no quarrel with you. Why can't you just leave us alone? Well, you see, I couldn't just leave you alone uh, because you had, like, technician kits and crates that I had to search. Where are the investigators? What happened to those other Alliance officers? The ones who came before me? They wanted to take me away from here. They wanted me to abandon this place, turn my back on my family. They spoke blasphemy. I did what I could to make their end quick and painless. I had no other choice. It was necessary to protect my children. Only I can keep them safe. Um, you, you understand that uh, by killing those two uh, investigators, they then sent me, you know, the Spectre who has the best, some of the best equipment in the game. The Alliance sent me to bring you in, Major. Can't you see this has gotten out of hand? Don't you understand you are endangering your followers? I respect that you have come under a banner of peace, but I cannot do as you ask. If you take away their father, my children will be helpless. They're all adults, sir. You can't help them now. You ordered your followers to kill those Alliance investigators. You must face the consequences of your actions. Do you really want your children to suffer for your sins, too? Well, of course, no. the, his followers this, did this the killing. They fault. should my be punished, too. My children are innocent. Pure. Please. I never meant for this to happen. I, I'm sorry. Well, I know this isn't easy, but uh, I've got to take you in. You're doing the right thing, Major. Your children will be better off for it. Come on. Wait. If my children see you taking me away, they won't understand. They will attack, and you will be forced to kill them all. Okay. You have shown me the error of my ways, Commander. Now you must give me time to explain it to them. It is the only way they will understand. Hmm. Please, give me one hour. After that, I will meet the Alliance authorities at the gates of my compound and surrender without violence. Okay. I give you my word. All right. I mean, after all, if you lie, we'll just kill everyone anyway, so... Forget it! No, I'm gonna I believe trust you. you. If you betray that trust, you and all your children will suffer. Exactly. I will not betray you, Commander. Thank you for this. You better give me XP. Joker can have the fifth fleet pick Major Kyle up. I just hope you know what you're doing, Commander. You should return to the Normandy and notify the Alliance of Kyle's surrender. They'll want to dispatch a ship to take him into custody. But how long would it take a ship to get here? Another Alliance ship? Uh, more than an hour, right? <laughs> I got no experience points for that yet. I will surrender myself to the Alliance outside the compound gates in one hour, Commander. I give you my word. Joker can have the fifth fleet pick Major Kyle up. I just hope you know what you're doing, Commander. <laughs> wow, we, we get that. We could totally just do that m multiple times. Um, y you, you sound uh, uh, like you don't uh, trust my judgment here, uh, Kaiden. Uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not liking that, Kaiden. Uh, I'm not, not appreciating that at all. And I hope that helicopter that just flew over head did not get picked up by my, uh, microphone. No, but seriously, wouldn't it take more than an hour for another ship to get here? No, oh, that's a power junction. Thought maybe that was another crate or something. <laughs> 